Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and today we are back in American Truck Simulator and today we're going to be picking up a brand new trailer or I should say really it's a brand new load on a brand new trailer but without any further ado let's go ahead and get our truck started up start it up and shift it into gear and this should be a very interesting job because the trailer we're about to tow is really heavy like we're talking extremely heavy so that should be an interesting it should be an interesting deal considering the fact that not only the fact that we're using this slammed truck but the slammed truck thing also kind of um the, the slam truck thing also kind of comes into play with the fact that what we're about to haul is also extremely heavy now where the actual where the actual load is is a little bit a little bit of a ways this way um honestly there's probably one here but i want to be able to actually like oh god no way that actually damaged the truck wow i did not think that was going to damage the truck at all stop oh god Forgot this thing had, like, nothing for a turning radius. Absolutely. Dude, this thing has... This thing doesn't have crap for turning radius. I'm double shifting, and it's still just, like, blowing through gears. But then again, that's what this thing just does. It, 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 it knows no other way. It does not know the way. It doesn't know any other way. This truck is the equivalent of Uganda Knuckles. It seriously is because of the, like, the, the red paint job. And it's just like, oh, God, I don't know why I just now equated this truck to Ugandan Knuckles. That uh, didn't make any sense until I thought of it now, but. <laughs> Without a trailer, like, it's, it's actually really fast. It's quite fast for not having a trailer. Let's see. Oh, God, does that sound crazy. You know what? I may... I may fast travel over there. Let me check the map and see how far away that job is. Oh, so it's down... Oh, it's at Chems. Okay. So, let's see. That would be the Chems pickup station for Los Angeles. Now, if I... Tell it to go to Los Angeles. I, we're close enough anyway. I mean, it's just a quick blast down the highway. It's seriously just a quick blast down. Well, not even the highway. Just, what, 58? Yeah, it's just a quick blast down 58, and we're there. I don't know why I changed down a gear. This thing has so much torque that you don't even have to. It, changing down is not even necessary. God, what a mean-looking rig, though. About to get to 100 miles an hour. Again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm about to get to 100 miles an hour again. Up, there's and and the weird thing is that normally, like 100 miles an hour takes a little bit for these trucks to get to. Not this one. This one's at 100 in you know just whenever, whenever it wants to be, or if you stay in the throttle long enough, it pretty much just takes care of it for itself. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh hi. Whoa. Yo, how the hell did that cause damage? Should have been just a little reflector sign that we should have pushed out of the way. That actually that actually made very little sense, if any at all. But I, I guess maybe there was something a little bit more solid behind it that I didn't realize. Or that I didn't realize was there. Alright. Oh, God. Oh, yes. Alright, our exit's coming up. We should be good. We're going to take... Oh, hello, Mr. Highway Patrol. We're going to take the, uh, this outside lane that nobody's using, curiously. A little bit of Jake Brake action. Come on, get back in the power now. Alright, so... We're going to get, yeah, we're going to cut this lane a little. It's... The frame on this thing is so stretched that you've got... I mean... You literally have to slow down so much just to make a corner that it's like, it's it's truly ridiculous. Some corners you literally have to back up and, and, and you know, go forward. You have to back up and try the corner again. Back up, adjust, try the corner again. Like, literally, you have to do all of that with the... <gasps> oh, this thing. Wow, I almost lost it. Hello, Mac Dump Truck. 
Did not expect to see him out here. All right, yep, there's the chems station, which is weird, that, uh, like, the load that we're picking up, it's weird we're picking it up from chems, but it's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit weird, but... Let's see, six low, five high, four high, third high, fourth high. All right, cool. So this is going to be a bit of an interesting pickup because I have never pulled one of these before. It's supposed to be 57 tons, which is a lot. Like, it's a lot. All right. Uh, I'm going to butcher this name, but I believe that is a... Uh, Bo ba ba bo bab tree or bo bab tree. I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but um, it is considered a heavy haul by the game because it's like I said, it's fifty. It's a you know a, a chilled out fifty seven tons, and you also have to remember it's literally a massive tree trunk. Yep, there it is. Oh God, that is massive. Oh my God. The length of that trailer plus the length of this truck is going to make this one of the most insane hauls I think I've ever done. Alright, hook this thing up. Oh my god, let's just look at that for a second before we set off because that is ridiculous. Oh, it struggled a little bit pulling out in like too too high like second high oh god can it even make that corner oh barely let's go down to third low oh my god oh 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 went up on that curb a little bit oh so it does actually rock back and forth and if this trailer starts rocking you are in trouble because it is taking the truck with it. And it barely cleared that. Oh, it barely cleared it. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. God, this is one of this is definitely one of the sketchiest trailers I think I've ever hauled. Let's see. Oh, this is going to have to be wide. Real what? Uh, high. God, we plowed into him. We're going to have to push you, buddy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but... <laughs> That's like the only option we have. Oh, hello. That's Border Patrol. What's up, dude? I swear, nothing funky going on here. No funny business, my good sir. No funny business. All right. Oh, I can't get over how huge that tree is. And that's not even the old tree. That's a tree trunk. No! Oh, engine malfunction. That's bad. We're going to have to do this with a slightly dying engine. Oh, that's not good at all. I've never had to do that before. Yeah, I've never had to do it to where, like, my engine would ever so, like... You know, every so often, just kind of randomly shut off. I mean, I've had it happen before, but usually what I do is I just jump to a, um, like a service area or something. But the thing is, since this is so early on in a job, it's kind of, it kind of doesn't make sense to jump to a, like, jump to a service area now. Because we're already, it's like, we're committed. We're doing this. Up to about 50 miles an hour. I mean, we're going to stick with it. Oh! Oh, I should not have done that I should not have uh, God I should not have tried to like get a good angle for the camera I should have just focused on driving oh that's a mistake God that's such a mistake he's probably really really angry I would be <laughs> I would be that has got to be some of the sloppiest driving I think I've ever done in America Truck Simulator <laughs> my god I've had more crashes in this episode just from doing things with the camera than I have in, like, across the course of the last, like, five videos. Just because, like, I'm trying to get, like, a, like a crazy angle on this trailer, and I'm not, like, actually focusing on where I'm going because 
Oh, I scraped. That's the other thing about driving a slammed rig, is that you do scrape fairly often. Wait for it to build RPMs a little bit. Seven high, and then double shift up to... Oh! Oh, crap. We lost, uh, we lost high range of eighth gear. That's not good. I guess we're going to stick in the low range of eighth gear, then. What's its top speed in, in like, eight low? Like, 62, 65? Oh, God, I really hope we don't catch air here. I know the truck's going to scrape. Oh, it's going to scrape. Oh, it's going to get damaged. Oh, oh, God. That first one, it scraped bad. It scraped really bad. I mean, we'll repair the truck after we, after we get there, but, man, like, oh, God. Huh? What did we hit? Oh, the truck scraped. See what I mean about how this thing is not brilliant at maintaining speed? The, it, like, it looks cool, but the size, uh, or not the size, but, like, how low it is, how, how lowered it is starts to get to it, like, after a while. It really does, because it can't turn, it can't go up hills, it can't, like, I mean, it can turn, it just takes a hell of a long time. And for a trailer of this size, you need, like, the most maneuverability you can get, and... This doesn't really provide that. Come on, change down, change down, change down. Too high. Three high. Oh, oh no. Oh, yep. Yeah. Hung up on a curb. Excuse me. I am terribly sorry, sir, but I'm going to have to cut around you on this one. This is so intense with this trailer because especially with the damage on the truck, you never know when the engine is going to cut off is going to cut off. That's why I'm trying to hit hills with as much speed and RPMs as I can, but that's a little bit difficult when you're dealing with truck damage because you know your performance is down. Uh-oh. Change down. Uh-oh, it's losing speed. Oh, come on. Oh, maintaining, maintaining, maintaining. Come on, gain some more speed. Please, please, please. There we go. There we go. Come on, just stick with it. Stick with it. Stick with it. I'm wanting it to just, like, stay at a consistent speed. And by the way, I've been, like, throttle all the way down this whole time. This whole time. I guess it's just one of those things that comes from using a truck to pull a load that's literally heavier than 99% of the other trailers in the game. Oh! Start up, please. Oh, no. There, go, 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 go! It cut off, literally just cut off while I was going down the road. Alright, we've got 8th gear back, or at least low range of 8th. Alright, 100 in-game miles to go. Let's do this. We're getting there. Hey, we're doing about 70 now, so I'll, I'll say one thing. We may still be able to get there in a decent amount of time. Okay, everybody else is blowing that, so we can just, like, go straight through. It's really only for the turn lane that you would have to stop, I guess. Very tricky. Like, this would require a pilot, like... A, like a pilot like pilot cars in real life like it would ab oh, oh! I don't know what the hell happened oh my god I don't know what the hell happened the whole truck jumped uh oh oh it doesn't want to start oh there we go we got it started again. Oh, I mean, we got it started again, but my God. It's going to have a much, much, like, it's going to have a much tighter threshold on, you know, how quickly it cuts off now. Because we do have a lot more. But I don't know what happened. Did we tap the guardrail? And then something freaked out because it launched the truck. Like, it absolutely launched it. 50 in-game miles away. Oh, this is, this is like, it's down to the wire now because, uh-oh. Go, 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 go. 
And like I said, the engine is turning off by itself a lot more frequently now. Like, a hell of a lot more frequently. Okay, stop trying to get, like, cool camera angles and just drive, dude. Like, just drive. Don't lose speed. Oh, it's building. It's building. Okay, cool. Perfect power band right now. Just keep it there and you'll be okay. Oh, keep it there and you'll be okay. Uh-oh. Maybe not. Maybe not. Just maintain, maintain at least some momentum going up the hill. Because once it levels out, I want to be able to get up back up into the upper gears. Stick with it. Stick with it. Stick with it. Stick with it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. We're so close, guys. We're so close. I was worried for a... S oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, you... Really? Really? I'm really concerned about this truck now. So what I'm going to do... And I know some people may go, Oh, really? But... Hold on. Where are... No. No. Where are we going exactly? We are going to... Santa Maria. So... That means... Go to... Santa Maria. Oh, crap. Santa underscore Maria? Yep, that's how we do it. Okay, so... That now means we fast travel over here to right about here. We F9, and then, well, one or two, and we start the truck up, or at least attempt to. Oh, go. Come on. It doesn't want to. No! Oh, it almost started. God, it almost started. Go, 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 while we, while we have engine power. Yeah, while we have engine power, just finish this. God. And here we are. And I'll, I'll tell you something. I'm going to let them park it. <laughs> I am going to let them park it. Woo! Okay. Well, uh, <laughs> reasonable. That was absolutely ridiculous. That, like, th the combination of this truck plus that trailer was quite difficult, and I don't know if I would recommend using this for that, but I mean, if you want a huge challenge, yes, um, but if you want it to be simple, no. So if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave me a like, tell me in the comments down below what y'all thought of it, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see y'all next time. Talk to you guys later.